All right, so today I went out, I was at Target, and I was picking up uh, just some trash bags and toothpaste that I needed for the house, and um, I decided, since I sell um, kind of lots of great cards on eBay that for $10, um, for 50 cards, and every single one of the cards is a Rookie Hall of Famer insert refractor uh autograph jersey card um a you know a star card at least um every single one of the 50s did i tell you guys what you're paying for when you go to target and you spend 4.99 i believe was on 75 cards and 7.99 on four packs and 50 cards plus bonus which could be anything so I'm on my way home, I did kind of tear this open because I'm just that kind of guy. I love I love opening stuff. So um, especially packs of cards and whatnot. But I want to I want to show you guys what what the comparison is. Um, if you go and watch my previous video compared to what you get out of these mystery boxes from Target. Now I believe this is probably a Fairfield box. Um, who makes it Fairfield? Yes, Fairfield. They also do the baseball and the football and whatnot. But these are best. Oh my god, I just murdered the whole pack. But that's what I get for opening up before I start a video. Now you guys are going to be screaming at me that I that I just dropped all these on the floor. So let me pick these up. This is not how I treat my regular cards, by the way. This is. A huge mistake. But anyway, all right, so let's go through. I believe this was the $4.99 box. And, you know, every once in a while you pull something decent out of here. But for the most part, you know, it's a lot of commons and stuff like that. And these boxes, they sell regularly. I mean, whenever I go, there's only one or two of them left. So if you guys are buying these for $5 and this for um, $8... A t my ten dollar lot on eBay, with all stars, all rookie cards, all inserts, and includes one three relics or autographs. It's a much better deal, and I just want to show you guys why. So, just going through these cards, I know I've, I they fell all over the damn place, but here we go. Keith Van Horn who was I actually had a Van Horn jersey back in the day. I was a big uh, Jersey Nets fan. Van Horn was one of my favorite basketball players. I put that in my personal collection because I, I like Keith Van Horn. And, uh, you know, if injuries didn't derail him, he had a pretty pretty nice, uh, up until about 2001 from 97 to 01, he was a really good basketball player. Um, Gary Payton, not a rookie. Looks like it's fourth year card. Shaquille, now don't get fooled. I, I I went through these. I went through half the pack, and I put the good cards at the top. So Shaquille O'Neal, this is ninety eight tops. That's a decent card. David David Robinson, All Star. Chris Mullen. Bill Ambeer. Dikembe Mutombo. And Reggie Miller with the dope haircut right there. Now everything else, um, I, I kind of went through half of them, like I said, but. I got two of these cards back to back. Uh, Brian Brian Grant, 50th anniversary hoops. Uh, looks more like a checklist than anything. Um, not worth anything. Kenny Smith, analyst on TNT. Kevin Willis, who played for approximately 32 years. Tony Delk. Uh, not even the fifth best player on New York at the time. Looks like Gerald Wilkins. John Konjak, Craig Elo, who's famous for getting that uh, Michael Jordan shooting that shot over him. Kenny Skywalker. USA Basketball, Mark Price. Hmm. Well, it has Magic Johnson's take on it, so I guess it's some kind of insert from Skybox. That'll go in a decent pile. Tyrus Edney. He's Cards are all flipped all around and stuff like that. Daniel Gibson. Charles Smith. 
Scott Brooks with the fantastic haircut. I might bring that back. Um, Hubert Davis. Pooh Richardson. Now, one thing I do want to get at, I was hoping to get out of these packs, is the, uh, I think it's a Tim Hardaway card with the Menendez brothers sitting in the background. It was like 91 um, Flair Skybo or Skybox. That's a cool card to have, and that's one of them, one of the common cards I would actually hope to get out of here. But, Kevin Johnson, Dale Ellis, Jeff Hornacek, who is the coach for uh, the Bulls, maybe, right now. Clyde Drexler, Frequent Flyers, Stadium Club, Five Cents, maybe. Danny Fortson, Ramil Robinson draft pick. And this is funny. I saw this on the ride home. We actually got a John Crook checklist in the basketball uh, packs of cards. And John Crook was definitely not a basketball player. He was an overweight baseball player who was very much fun. TJ Ford, Dwayne Coswell. These are always great to get in a pack that you pay uh five bucks for it's a checklist that it is worth negative three dollars uh luther wright like sam i can sell anthony peeler doug west now you realize i'm just kind of tossing these cards around that's not what i normally do but uh, i handle my cards that i send out to you guys a lot better judd buker who's a analyst with espn Derek coleman what a decent nba career dennis rodman with the spurs i maybe get five cents for that tom gugliotta rookie card maybe this is his rookie card maybe get a quarter for that and a Bob Malacky Bowman card, which is baseball. 1992 Bowman. That just shows you how random these are. Bernard King, all-star card. There you go, my man Kurt Rambis with the glasses. He's a coach now that basically no player likes. Uh, Lafonso Ellis. Roy Rogers, Kenny Gadsden, Liddell Eagles, Chris Jackson, Derek McKee, B.J. Armstrong, one of the coolest bulls. I always thought he was cool for some reason because he was on on the shorter side of those great bull teams. Uh, Chris. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the last name. I don't know who he is. Never heard of him. Grant Hill, who still might be playing in the league. Rookie card, actually. That's a pretty decent card right there. Put that over there. Chris Whitney. Mark West. John Williams. Looks like a Reggie Miller, Jeff Malone. Steve Smith. Well, these are all 90, early 90s basketball cards, which all the collectors know aren't worth much unless you got a Bird, a Johnson, uh, Jordan, Pippen, maybe a Barkley. Um... There's a, there's a newer Jason Kidd, 2008 tops. But why Eduardo Nahara? Why pay $5 for this stuff when you can pay 10 and get all inserts, autographs, rookies from my eBay store? I will leave the link at the bottom of the description. Tom Chambers, Aaron McKee, David Wesley. It's a pretty cool card. Chris Mills. Cedric Henderson. And Sean Elliott All-Star. And um, here's our basketball one. 
or I'm sorry, not our basketball one, but the 799 Fairfield pack. Um, which I'd say, you know, the value of this, the Grant Hill was probably the best out of the decent cards. Grant Hill rookie probably goes for about a buck. Um, and these cards aren't in great condition. It could be that I dropped them on the floor, but just, um, I mean, it's, it's a, it's really a, a, a shot in the dark when you, when you buy these Fairfield boxes. Of course, we get these teeny mates. They go for about three bucks at the store. And then there's a couple packs of basketball cards in here. We got Don Russ, 15, 16. We got Skybox USA Basketball. I don't, know, I don't know much about that. That doesn't look, appear to be a very valuable pack. Uh, Panini Complete, which you can buy in a dollar store for a dollar. And finally, Flare Basketball Cards. And then you got a little box in here. Oh, basketball cards. So let's see what's in the mystery box. I'm not going to open up the packs because I mean, it could just be about anything in the packs. But I just want to show you guys what you get. Vince Carter. 2003-2004. So probably about a fifth year card for him. Lafonso Ellis. Patrick Ewing, Chris Weber, Keith Owens, Charles Smith, Joe Klein, that guy, Kendall Gill, who was on the Nets teams I really liked back in the day. Classic Chris Michael. Never heard of him. Uh, Wesley Person. Classic. It's a rookie card. Might be worth a quarter. Sam Mitchell Classic. Pooh Richardson. Getting a lot of early 90s cards. Not worth much. Vincent Yarbrough. Jared Dudley. Another one of the wild card classic cards, Ron Coleman. Latrell Sprewell, see through. I'm not sure what that's worth. J.R. Reed. Carell Williamson. Byron Scott, who was a really solid NBA player. Cliff Robinson, played a long career. Eric Murdoch, if you know who he is, then you're a really good bas you're a really big basketball fan. George McLeod, I don't know another baseball card. Be nice to get a Mike Trout in here, huh? Cl uh, Clifford Rozier. Clarence Weatherspoon, Baby Jordan, Henry James, like Sam I could sell, Tops, Mainstays, Will Purdue, if, that, if that's the insert card that you're hoping for, God bless you, John Stockton, Jaron Jackson, Irvin Johnson, but not Irvin Magic Johnson, uh, Brooks Thompson, Kevin Johnson, Avery Johnson, no, I'm playing with you, Elliot uh, Perry, Bill Weddington, Blue Edwards, Sam Cassell,
Looks like Derek Coleman. BJ Armstrong on the Warriors. See the, you know, that's just the quality you get sometimes. This is Charles Barkley, tail end of his career. Mm, Felton Spence. I almost said Vladi Divox. Rolando Blackman. Tim Brooks. Lorenz, uh, Loren Meyer. Ron Harper. Joe Dumas. Terry Mills. Deshaun Stevenson. And finally, Craig Smith. So, for $12, we probably got about $2.50 worth of decent cards. Again, you can go on my eBay store, check it out. Uh, my God, you're going to get 50, a lot of 50 cards. All of them stars, Hall of Famers, inserts, autographs, all kinds of good stuff. No commons. Go ahead and check it out. The link's at the bottom. And uh, check us out.